Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you a very beginner friendly tutorial and that is how to make your mobile phones or how to make your Wix websites mobile friendly or different sizes or tablet friendly in general. So as you can see, I've got this very simple page. It's got the title and then two headings, one for each image. I've got the two images side by side and then some long text. I just copied that from ChatGPT. And the idea is that I want to make sure that this UI looks presentable on a mobile screen, so on your iPhone or Android device and so on. Now, if I go ahead, right now I'm on desktop view, so this is how um, tablet, uh, this is how um, laptops or desktops would view it. But if I go ahead and switch to mobile, you'll see that it's completely messed up. Now, all the elements are still here, so we still have the main title, we still have the two headings and the images and the large text. However, We've got a few things wrong. A, our menu disappeared and it's now in this hamburger menu and I'll show you how we can edit that as well. And also we've got this massive um, white space or blank space, so we gotta fix it as well. Usually your website's logo will be here but we don't have one for now. So instead, um, I'll show you how we can make it look better. Now the first thing that I'll do is just how you would move things on the editor for desktop. I would start doing that for the mobile as well. So I would leave my title here and then what I would do is I would drag this and it would automatically drop everything down. I would grab this text and I would put it here. And then I would grab the first image and put it over there. Now, something that you're going to realize straight away is that we can either put these two images next to each other to mimic exactly the desktop view. But that is not going to look well. The images are going to be too small for anyone using a mobile phone. What I recommend doing always is not try and mimic exactly how the desktop view looks like. Instead, create a new fresh view for the mobile and that way it looks better. You have all your elements and it looks more friendly. So we are not going to be trying and putting two images next to each other. It's not going to look good. It will look too small. So sometimes I get customers and they force me to put it side by side. It's not going to work. You need a completely different view. So what I'll do, first of all, just a quick look. I want to make sure that the image matches the headings because sometimes it gets mixed up on Wix and it does. And I'm going to move this a little bit further. And then I'm going to expand this image so that it takes the entire view. And we can stop it like this. I think these two spaces are the same. And then what I'll do, same thing for the text. I'll move it like this and I'll go ahead and I'll drag it to the beginning of it like that. And I'll grab it, the image until it stretches out and exactly the same height. So now you can see that it's almost exactly the same. We have the title, we have the title for the images, and even though they're not horizontally stacked next to each other, but vertically, which on mobile phones, that tends to be better. Now for the extra spaces, what I'll do is I would pull this all the way like this, and then I'll click on this, and for text, you can see that it gets squashed. Now it's up to you um, how big you want it to be, but usually I tend to just make it a little bit bigger, like this, and then on the phone, I would stretch this down a little bit, like that or like this. That way it's a little bit more spaced at the bottom. You've got space at the top. I can even increase this a little bit, to be honest. And then you've got the rest of these. Now, that's very quickly how I changed the, the, the page itself, but we still have this problem with the top. So what I'll do is I would decrease the header. I would move this button and make it all the way at the center. And I just realized that it's inside of a strip. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the strip, but then show the icon just like this. And that way I can completely minimize this how I want to, how I want to. Like that. And that way it just looks much more uniform. Now, if you go ahead and click on this hamburger icon, we've got a few different options. First of all, if I click on edit menu, you can see that it opens the mobile menu and it covers the entire screen. But the modern website right now, you don't want to fill the entire screen. So what I would do is first of all, I'll click on this. I'll drag it all the way to the right. I'll click on layout and I would make the alignment from left to right. You can play around until you're happy with this. And then I would also select on the background itself, come to layout and make it to the right. And that way when you open the menu, it opens from right to left, just how it does in mobile apps and it gives it that sort of more crispier look or a better look. I would even reduce the, in, 
tie them and you just a little bit. That way you're not completely covering the page, you're just over. And now if I click on preview, ignoring this um, glitch by Wix themselves, you can see that this is how it looks like on a mobile phone. And if I go ahead and click on the menu, you can see that it opens exactly how it would on a mobile app and it doesn't block the entire screen at the same time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did find this tutorial useful and I hope to see you in the next episode.